Hi there, Chris here. So I just watched Jack Fox's last two videos. Uh, he opened up a package he got from England and it was a very old Chubb uh, padlock. And I believe the model back then was called a Corvette. And you're going, Chris, what, you mean it's a car? No, no, back before the car, you had um, Corvettes were small warships. And so you have this type of lock, which would, this one is probably also would be referred to as a Corvette. And then you had your Chubb Cruisers. Let's find one quick. And this would be a, a very old cruiser, probably was on a cruiser. And then you have your Chubb Battleships. So, there you go, that's a little brief history on the very old Chubb locks. And this one works beautifully. And I do have a few more, I couldn't put my hands on them quickly, so there you go. I will look for them and post them in another video. So, I just use a cut down Chubb key with the Brummy inspired um, tension holder, tension hold that cut down key, and then just this little pick wire. And I don't believe this one has any false gates. Um, light tension, let's see if I can give you a good view. Um, I start in the back on this one. And it doesn't give a whole lot of feedback. And I'm getting nothing. <laughs> I'm getting nothing. So let's see. When I get nothing, and everybody's sort of not going anywhere, you know, maybe it does have false gates. That's, that is possible. All right, let's try again. So we'll go in. And just little lifts for this guy. And you can almost feel those levers creeping up. I know I saw uh, Andy Mack feature one of these quite a long time ago. There we go. So just small little lifts and you get it open. And we'll take a look at this one. This is what I call a fishy chub because it does have the fish stamped emblem chub London. And I have not been able to find any other markings on this. Oh, except 369. I don't think this was made in, in 1969. It's possible it was, but I'm wondering if that was just another similar designation. Uh, we'll show the key. We'll show the little key. And it does say Chubb on it. And it says nothing on that side. And you get a real high cut right there. And it's interesting because it does not have the the little cutout in the back that the more modern, the later chubs have. So you see this. Um, this is the what does the bolt. This here does uh, slides past a back plate, and I think uh, Brummy has. Totally covered that. We'll take a look at another couple of Chubb keys. Let's see. Oh, and this is from one of my faves. Oh, look out, slink. Landslide. Um, and this is a cutaway Chubb that I made. And you can see um, 
Lever number two has that long, long nose. And so once it's picked, if you want to unpick it, everybody's lined up on that bolt. And really all you have to do is pick up that second lever and clear that long nose. And you can watch as the nose, first thing that happens, the nose goes out of the way. Come on. And then boom, we, we go out. So unlocked, locked. Anyway, that's a little chub stuff for this Saturday morning. Um, thanks for watching. Check out Jack Fox's video on his, and I actually, I like his, I like his better. It has a nice big chub across it. And I think I've only seen that a couple of times. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, do subscribe, uh, ask a question, uh, and leave a comment. We will see you next time.